Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Nautical Clips, Taking Stock of the Strongest Devil Fruit. Chapter 21. Can you bounce away the fatigue and pain from your body? How can this be? Kaido's eyes widened suddenly. What a heaven-defying ability this is. As the strongest creature in the world, his body is as strong as a monster. Even if you fall from a height of 10,000 meters, you will not die. Although he has such a strong body, he will also feel tired and in pain. Willpower is one of the criteria for judging the strength of a strong person. When the strength of the two is about the same, who can persevere and fight to the end under extreme conditions? Who can be the final winner? It's easy to say. But when the physical pain reaches the limit of endurance, even a strong man like him will fall into a coma. This is the body's self-protection mechanism. Kaido couldn't help but sigh. If this guy can join the beast's pirates to assist him, he will become an invincible being in this world. Even Whitebeard at his peak cannot be his opponent. In addition to various attacks, even abstract things like pain and memories can be deflected. Anti was shocked. As the emperor of the sea, she knew very well what it meant to bounce away pain in battle. As long as the difference in strength is not too great, the opponent can be killed alive. The 35th daughter of the Charlotte family, Charlotte Pudding, is a user with Paramesha memory fruit ability. She can extract the other party's memory and obtain all kinds of information. And Big Bear's meatball fruit can also do this. Isn't this too outrageous? Not only them, but everyone who heard the narrator's voice couldn't believe it. Meatball fruit, such an ordinary fruit that even sounds a bit silly. How could it be so heaven-defying? In the sky, the explosion gradually stopped and the smoke slowly dispersed. The straw hat pirates have been completely wiped out. The bear came to Luffy, and just as he stretched out his hand, Zoro's figure flew past him and slashed his shoulder. But after several rounds of fighting, the two of them, Zoro gasped for air, his whole body shaking. Anyone with a discerning eye can see that this man has reached his limit. Zoro seemed to have made up his mind and knelt down on the ground. Hawkeye's eyes darkened, with an indescribable look of disappointment on his face. Knowing that you can't win, do you choose to beg for mercy from the enemy in order to survive? After all, he is just a sad and ugly weakling. The next moment, Zoro's calm voice came from the screen. Let Luffy go and use my head to serve the world government. Why? Luffy can't die here, he is the man destined to become the Pirate King. Sanji also walked over shakily at this time. Hey, let's use my black-footed Sanji's head instead. Although I'm not famous yet, sooner or later I will become a headache for the world government. Watching Zoro and Sanji race to their death, Hawkeye was stunned. In order to save his companions, this man was willing to give up his ambition and give up his life. Not just him. At this moment, everyone around the world who was watching the Marquis fell into silence. There was both shock and incomprehension in his eyes. On a warship heading to impel down. Garp looked at the sky quietly and sighed helplessly. This brat is really popular. Revolutionary Army Headquarters. Dorag looked into the distance silently, with a look of relief in his eyes. Luffy, it seems that you have found a group of like-minded partners who depend on each other for life and death. Redverse. Shanks stood at the bow of the boat, his cloak rustling in the sea breeze. Beckman, maybe that crybaby kid can really fulfill the promise he made. Beckman said calmly, are they going to surpass us and become the pirate king? I'm afraid it's too early for them at their current level, right? Shanks laughed. Who knows what will happen in the future? After an argument, Zoro knocked Sanji unconscious and knocked him to the ground. Both parties make a deal. The bear picked up the unconscious Luffy from the ground and slapped him in the chest. A huge red bubble tens of meters high popped out of it. It's the pain and the pain that's been building up inside him. Since you want to die in Straw Hat's place, just accept these. As Big Bear spoke, he gently pulled out an insignificant red light ball. The red light ball slowly floated towards Zoro's direction. As soon as the contact came into contact with his body, Zoro's whole body shook violently, and he spat out a large mouthful of blood as if he had been hit hard. After breathing for a moment, he said with difficulty. Change, change to another place. The scene ended abruptly here, and I don't know what happened next. But one thing is certain. The meatball fruit can really bounce away pain and transfer it to others as the narrator said. This moment, 
The world is undercurrent. The dark world has received numerous assassination requests. The leader of a pirate group, the king of a certain country, even the celestial dragons. Countless people fell into madness. They have only one purpose, to kill the big bear and get this meatball fruit. Port of Sabayati Archipelago. The straw hat pirates were shocked and surrounded Zoro. Hey, Zoro. What happened next? Do you even need to ask? That guy Luffy is a rubber man, how can you possibly bear his pain? You idiot. Sanji stood aside, smoking silently. The smoke was thick, and his expression could not be seen clearly. But the right hand holding the cigarette couldn't help but tremble. In the face of people's inquiries. Zoro, however, closed his eyes and said nothing. Luffy suddenly grabbed Zoro's collar and yelled. Hey, Zoro. What happened next? We are companions. There is nothing we can't say. Zoro had no expression on his face and said calmly. Then, nothing happened after that. Marineford. Kazaru stretched out a finger, and golden light gathered on the fingertips. He is demonstrating the new abilities he just received from heaven. But the strange thing is that no one in Marine feels as dangerous as before. Some vice admirals narrowed their eyes with extremely comfortable expressions on their faces. My whole body feels warm, as if I'm in a hot spring. I feel like my body suddenly becomes much more relaxed. Have all my hidden wounds recovered. Okay, what a powerful ability. After Sengoku felt it silently, he couldn't help but nodded secretly. As long as you are exposed to this light, you can slowly recover from your injuries. It is indeed a gift from heaven, it is truly a powerful force. The conflict between Sakazuki and Aokiji has reached an irreconcilable point. Sengoku was powerless to prevent Akainu from leaving. But losing an admiral will inevitably lead to a significant reduction in marine strength. Now that he has seen Kazaru's new abilities, he can finally breathe a sigh of relief. As long as Kazaru does not fall down, under the shining of the holy light, he can continue to provide healing to his friends. This power is enough to change the entire situation of the battle. It's just that Porosalino's wretched temperament is matched with the brilliance of holiness. No matter how you look at it, it feels inconsistent. Kazaru pointed to the sky and said helplessly. But compared to this guy's ability, I feel like my holy light is useless. Sengoku nodded. The big bear can instantly remove the pain from other people's bodies and transfer it to others. You are indeed inferior in this regard. But fortunately, he is the seven warlords of the sea and belongs to the same camp as our marine. With the two of you here, we can win the summit war with only minimal casualties. While the two were talking, the scene in the cyclorama suddenly cuts to Marineford. Everyone in Marine looked to the sky. Another battle at the top. Also, as a member of the seven warlords of the sea, Bartholomew the bear also responded to the call to participate in this war. Sengoku thought while paying attention to the scene in the sky. Soon, a huge humanoid creature with two horns and fangs attracted the attention of everyone present. That's Little Oz, a pirate group under the Whitebeard Pirates, captain of the Oz Pirates, and descendant of the demon Oz. Little Oz's height reached a terrifying 380 meters. Every step he took made the earth tremble, and ordinary bullets and artillery were unable to cause any effective damage. Even the giant vice admiral seemed like a child in front of him. After defeating several marine giants vice admiral with a crushing force, Little Oz passed through numerous defenses and arrived near the surrounding wall of Crescent Bay as if he were in an uninhabited land, and was about to land in the square. Sengoku's eyes darkened. Not just the 12 squad captains on the Moby Dick. Even the captains of the 43 pirate groups under his command are not ordinary people. It seems that this war is more difficult than he expected. At this moment, Big Bear stood up and activated the meatball fruit's ability without any expression. Looking at the severely injured Little Oz, angry shouts erupted from the decks of the Moby Dick. In addition to attack and defense, the meatball fruit also has powerful mobility that many fruits do not have. A user with the ability can shoot himself or other people or things away to achieve another teleportation effect. The power is so strong that it can even directly cross the sea to reach distant islands. The person with the ability can also use the power of the meatball fruit to move quickly and quietly, just like teleporting in space. The screen changes again and the Sabayati archipelago appears. 
Big Bear flew the straw hat pirates one by one to various places in the world. It has strong lethality, can deflect attacks, can heal and teleport. This meatball fruit is really amazing. Ginny looked at the sky and couldn't help but sigh. It may not be the strongest fruit, but it must be the most comprehensive. Dorag sighed deeply. Although the bear can deflect other people's pain, it cannot deflect its own tragic fate. Koala was stunned for a moment. Chief, do you know him? We were comrades in arms and like-minded companions. Can you tell his story? Dorag sighed. Countless memories of the past emerged in my mind one by one. Because of their Bacchanian identity, Bear and his parents were captured by Mariajoy and made slaves of the celestial dragons. His father told him the legend of Nika, who was shot for disturbing the celestial dragons. Taken to the Valley of the Gods and hunted by the celestial dragons. He met Ginny, Ivankov. The three of them luckily grabbed the meatball fruit, escaped from that hell, and rescued 500 people. Big Bear and Ginny spent a happy time. When he was 22 years old, Ginny proposed to him, but Big Bear refused because he didn't want Ginny to be implicated in her Bacania bloodline. Later, they joined the Revolutionary Army, became army commanders, and carried out revolutionary activities around the world. But the good times didn't last long. Ginny was captured and forced to become the wife of the Celestial Dragons. Two years later, Ginny contracted an extremely rare terminal disease and was abandoned by the Celestial Dragons. She returned to the kingdom of Sorbet. When the bear arrived, she was already dead, leaving only a baby girl beside her. The bear named him Pawnee. But Boney was also infected with the same disease as her mother. In order to cure Pony, Big Bear left the Revolutionary Army and searched for a cure all over the world. After that, he agreed to the world government's request. In exchange for curing Pawnee, he became the seven warlords of the sea and volunteered to conduct human modification experiments. Quote. Start distributing heavenly rewards. Bartholomew Bear, obtained Twisted Fate Reagent once. An uninhabited desert island. The bear sat alone on the top of the mountain, looking into the distance with an expressionless face. Under the transformation of Vegapunk, he has little sense of autonomy left. Twisted Fate Reagent. After use, it can distort time and space and change the established reality. At this moment, countless thoughts came to Shang's mind. After a long silence, thousands of thoughts finally turned into four words. Resurrect Ginny. What an ugly eating appearance. She actually ate food for 50 people. This woman's appetite is really terrible. Shish, keep your voice down. She is the captain of the Bonnie Pirates, Jewelry Bonnie. She has a bounty of 320 million baileys, and she is a pirate supernova. Inside a restaurant in Sabayati Archipelago. There were mountains of plates on the table. Surrounded by stunned people. Bonnie, who was eating and drinking, suddenly stopped what he was doing. She stared blankly at the sky, tears streaming down her face before she knew it. You promised to write to me, but you haven't received a letter in all these years. You promised to travel around the world together after I recover from my illness. You big liar. After an unknown amount of time, Bonnie wiped away her tears with her hands, her eyes filled with determination. She put her foot on the table. Hey, kids, get ready to set sail. Target. Marineford. The inventory of meatball fruits is over. Holy land Maria Joy. The atmosphere in the conference room in Pangu City was solemn. Another great opportunity to capture the straw hats. I didn't expect the bear to let them go so blatantly. Including the terror triangle, this is already the second time. The five elders secretly clenched their fists. Satan, how long will it take to completely erase the bear's consciousness? Sardin said calmly. Don't worry, no matter how strong this guy is, he will become our combat weapon in just a few months. The pacifists based on him have been mass-produced in hundreds. This battle on the top is their best stage. The five elders nodded slowly. Has it been completed? To ensure nothing goes wrong, it's best to test it in actual combat before committing to summit war. According to the picture shown in the sky, the group of supernovae should be in the Sabayati archipelago at the moment. Inform Kazaru and use them to test the actual combat data. Nasho Langsheng suddenly said, I think there is one more thing worth noting. Facing everyone's gaze, he said slowly, don't forget, just like Whitebeard, Blackbeard and the others, Bear has also been rewarded by heaven. Everyone's expressions became serious. 
although it is not clear what the twist of fate reagent is. But at this juncture, there must not be the slightest glitch. Sartan said in a cold tone. The Big Bear is just a war weapon that is about to lose consciousness. It is destined to be a slave of the Bacania tribe from birth. It is not worthy of the reward of heaven at all. Let him come to Pangu City and hand over the reward. This extraordinary thing must be in our hands. The short-haired five elders frowned slightly. Will he obediently do as he is told? This man's strength is extraordinary. I'm afraid it will take an admiral-level combat force to subdue him. Sartan sneered. Don't worry. Children are parents' weakness. Tell this guy that if he doesn't hand over the reward from heaven, he will wait to collect the body for her daughter. Kaido is in a bad mood right now. This list is almost halfway through, but either Logia or Paramesha appears. Where's the zone? There's not even a zone. What's going on? Among the three series of Devil Fruit, Kaido is most optimistic about zone. Logia is too rare, so I won't mention it for now. Both the upper and lower limits of Paramesha are too large. He has witnessed many Paramesha abilities that are useless and even laughable. The Zone Devil Fruit does not require users to rack their brains to think about how to develop it, as it can become stronger after eating it. Not only has it been strengthened in various aspects such as strength and speed, but it also has strong vitality. Kaido became the most powerful warrior in the Voka Kingdom at the age of 10. Kaido firmly believes that for a warrior, Zone is the right Devil Fruit. Since Rock's pirate fell apart, he is determined to form a powerful force composed entirely of zone ability users and conquer the world with powerful power. Just when Kaido was thinking this, two lines of large characters appeared in the sky. The sixth most powerful devil fruit. Zone fish fruit phantom beast blue dragon form. Owner. Kaido. Marine Ford. The marines present looked at the sky with complicated expressions. The sixth place is actually him. Governor of Beasts Pirates. In addition to Whitebeard, another four emperors is on the list. Aokiji said with a serious expression. Phantom Beast species, this is a devil fruit that is even rarer than Logia. Including Kaido, there are only three known ones so far. The other two are the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates, Marcos Bird Fruit Phoenix form, and Marine Marshal Sengoku's Human Fruit Buddha form. As soon as these words came out, the expressions of some young marines changed instantly. Sengoku nodded secretly. He was not surprised at all that Kaido's name appeared in sixth place. Zone is already known for its strong vitality, and it is even more powerful as a fantasy beast species in Zone. Marco's title is, Phoenix, says it all. And Kaido is even more outrageous, being called, the strongest creature in the world, by the world. Kaido has challenged Marine and four emperors many times alone. He was defeated seven times, arrested 18 times, tortured more than a thousand times, and sentenced to death 40 times. Even if you are hanged, the chains will be broken, even if you are put on the guillotine, the guillotine will be shattered, even if you are stabbed with a spear, the spear will break. He has sunk as many as nine huge prison ships, and no one has ever been able to truly kill him. This is only the information they currently know. More details about the green dragon fruit are unclear. Sengoku understands. If it were just these, I'm afraid it wouldn't be able to overpower shock, frozen, shining, and meatball fruit. Ranked 6. This blue dragon fruit may also have other terrifying abilities. The sixth place is actually this fruit. Anti stared at the sky, feeling extremely unhappy. This devil fruit was originally given to Kaido by her. At that time, Kaido was just an intern, and the relationship between the two was pretty good. He originally planned to train this boy to be his follower. Unexpectedly, Rock's pirate, which was at its peak, fell apart in an instant. The little brother who followed him all day also chose to start his own business. Auntie felt regretful. If I had known that this fruit was so powerful, I would have kept it for my children to eat. Pengu City. The five elders sat up straight, their expressions extremely ugly. Same as the flesh ball fruit that just appeared. They originally planned to award this blue dragon fruit to the commander of the Knights of God, St. Fegeland Garin, in the name of the hunting competition. Unexpectedly, she was intercepted halfway by Charlotte Linlin. Although decades have passed. But when they think about it, they still feel extremely regretful and angry. Wanokuni, the capital of flowers. 
Countless people stared blankly at the sky, with despair on their faces. In the shogun's mansion, Kurozumi looked unhappy. Lousy is also an esper of the phantom beast species. Why is Lousy's Yamada no Orochi fruit not on the list? Ghost Island. The cheers of beasts pirates soared into the sky. Great. The sixth place is Boss Kaido. Black Maria held the cigarette rod elegantly and couldn't help but lick her red lips. Can this strong man only be ranked sixth? I thought he was first. Fuzifu snorted coldly. The strength of devil fruit doesn't mean anything. In terms of strength, who is his opponent in this sea? Drought. Jack clenched his fists, with a look of fanatical admiration in his eyes. In this sea, Boss Kaido is invincible. This man will also change the whole world. The first of the three disasters, fire disaster, Jin thought silently in his heart. Oh. Is it finally Lousy's turn? Hurry up and let people all over the world see how powerful the world's most powerful creature is. Kaido gulped down the wine, and he couldn't help laughing wildly in a happy mood. He couldn't wait to see his heroic appearance appear on the sky. Zone Fish Fruit Phantom Beast Green Dragon form brings the user an unparalleled powerful physique. Following the voice of the narration, a vast sea of white clouds appeared on the screen. Kaido stood on the sea of clouds, jumped down, and jumped down. This scene shocked everyone. What is this guy doing? He actually jumped down from the clouds. Looking at this guy's burly figure and that huge mace, the total weight is more than a ton, right? Jumping down from such a high place is like a meteorite impact. This guy is dead. The surrounding scenery passed quickly. Soon, with a loud roar, Kaido hit an island heavily. The powerful impact caused the entire island to shake violently, like an earthquake. You're not dead yet. As the smoke filled the air, Kaido climbed up from the pit. After seeing this scene, there was an uproar around the world. What is he doing? Jumping off the sea of clouds just to commit suicide. Unscathed. Impossible. Is this guy a monster? Not only a monster, but a madman. Sabayati Archipelago. Kid looked at Apu and Hawkins beside him, and said with some surprise. I didn't expect that Lousy would join forces with you in the future. Apu laughed. Kid, it's not just you who wants to take down the heads of the four emperors. If you can unseat Kaido, we will become famous. Inside the royal palace of Dressrosa. Da Flamingo couldn't help but swallow, a look of fear flashed in his eyes. This is Kaido of the Beasts, the man known as the strongest creature in the world. After initially founding the Don Quixote family and becoming the king of Dressrosa. He is also fearless and doesn't take anyone seriously. However, after meeting Kaido, Da Flamingo truly saw the vastness of the world. The shadow this powerful monster cast on him is still indelible. Marine Headquarters. Countless Marine soldiers were frightened. Ghost Spider bit his cigar and said in a low voice. Since he is a person with abilities, wouldn't it be possible to subdue him by locking him with Seastone shackles? Sengoku shook his head slightly. Seastone is indeed the nemesis of ability users, but its effect is average for monsters of this level. Kaido has an extremely terrifying physique, and coupled with the top-level hockey, he can easily break free from the Seastone shackles. Just as everyone was talking about it, the scene suddenly changed. The people of Wanokuni exclaimed. Why does that place look so familiar? It looks like it's Julie. You can't be wrong, that hilltop in the distance is the ruins of Odin Castle. Quinn took a puff of his cigar and said, interesting, someone actually challenges Kaido boss. Jack was dissatisfied, challenging boss Kaido. Just with that weird guy jumping around. On the deck of the sunny. Sanji pointed to the sky in surprise. Hey, that guy looks like Luffy. When you put it that way, it does sound like it. Usopp looked at the sky and then at Luffy beside him, thoughtfully. It's just. Luffy, did you eat too much again? How did you get so big? Luffy scratched his head. Huh. Did my future self develop a new move? It should be fourth gear, or fifth gear, right? With the eyes of the world watching, a fierce battle breaks out on the screen. Ape King Crow Cannon. Accompanied by a sharp and harsh whistling sound. Countless huge fists hit Kaido below like a gust of wind. The speed was so fast that even the air was blown away. The muffled sound of the fist hitting the flesh was even more frightening to hear. Who is this guy? He looks so strong. Look, this guy has a straw hat hanging on his back. 
Could it be the supernova, straw hat Luffy, who has a bounty of 300 million belly on his head? He actually attacked the four emperors. It's amazing. Kaido was beaten so hard that he couldn't even fight back. Marineford, the marine soldiers were talking a lot. Vice Admiral Ghost Spider of the headquarters had a stern look on his face and scolded. Idiots, see clearly. This guy Kaido is not even injured, his skin is not even broken. What? Although Luffy's offensive in the fourth gear was violent and fierce. But Kaido just stood there drunkenly, not evading at all, and just accepted it forcefully. Sengoku said with a solemn expression. This form, does armament hockey cover the whole body? Aokiji nodded in agreement. In addition to hockey, it seems to also be equipped with rubber fruits expansion and contraction properties. It's incredible. Garp's grandson has grown to this point. Sengoku can clearly feel it. The power of every punch Luffy throws is quite amazing. It's just that Kaido was even more pervert, relying on his exaggerated defense to stand still and not dodge. On the screen, several barrages passed by. The fourth gear that crushed Brother Ming felt like it was tickling Kaido. Master Wong Luffy, please use more strength. HP 1. Sobering up is a good thing, and the rabbit bowl is a distinguished guest. When he saw the first barrage, veins suddenly appeared on Doflamingo's forehead. Crush Brother Ming. Does this mean that Lousy will be defeated by Straw Hat Luffy in the future? Are you kidding me? Who is talking nonsense here? It's best not to be encountered by lousy. Beasts pirates. How dare you challenge boss Kaido. This kid is really impatient. Jack looked at the sky and burst into laughter. Jin quickly came to Kaido's side with several bounty tickets in hand. Boss Kaido, this is Straw Hat Luffy's bounty order. A group of them made a big fuss at Eni's lobby some time ago and defeated. He was interrupted before he finished speaking. Kaido waved his hand nonchalantly. In his eyes, anyone with a bounty of less than one billion is just a weakling. Can't arouse the slightest interest at all. You didn't even use armament hockey, and you managed to survive with just physical strength. What a powerful defense this is. Blackbeard looked at the sky and couldn't help but sigh. Although his dark fruit is very powerful, it also has obvious shortcomings. Firstly, it cannot dodge attacks like other Logia elementals. Secondly, if you get hurt, you will feel twice as much pain. This zone fish fruit, the powerful defensive power of the blue dragon form of the phantom beast species, can just make up for his shortcomings in this aspect. Plus the top of the line two-tone hockey. Regardless of whether they are capable or not, anyone can only become a lamb to be slaughtered in front of him. By then, he will become an invincible existence in this sea. Black dragon. Ha 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 ha, it seems to be very good. After laughing twice, a crazy idea came to Blackbeard's mind. No, that's not right. In addition to this blue dragon fruit, shock fruit, frozen fruit, sparkling fruit, and meatball fruit are also extremely powerful fruits. Either give it to your subordinates, or keep it sealed forever. As long as Lousy can get all the devil fruit on this list, he will definitely be able to dominate the world. The voice of the narration slowly appeared in the sky. In addition to giving the person with the ability a powerful body, the person with the ability can also transform into the blue dragon in myths and legends. It has the ability to control flames, storms, thunder and lightning, hail, and clouds, causing all kinds of super-scale attacks that change the sky and the earth. In dragon form, the breath he exhales sometimes turns into high heat flames that can burn buildings, and sometimes turns into sharp and powerful wind blades that can cut off the human body. The roar like a beast can turn into the roar of thunder. It turns its body to stir up strong winds, triggering numerous tornadoes and causing large-scale damage. The flame cloud created can lift an entire island into the sky. Along with the narration, Kaido in the picture has transformed into the form of a blue dragon, hovering over the town. The exaggerated body shape of nearly a kilometer brought a strong sense of oppression. Even from beyond the screen, you can feel the terrifying aura coming towards your face. Suddenly, the giant dragon opened its mouth full of sharp teeth into the distance. The dazzling firelight continued to gather in the mouth. It exudes an aura of destruction. Even the light was extremely distorted by the heat. Next moment, a huge beam of flame swept towards the distance. In the blazing fire, a hill hundreds of meters high on the way was burned instantly. 
This hot breath remained unabated and disappeared at the end of the field of vision. I don't know how long it's been. Boom. There was an earth-shattering explosion in the distance. A huge mushroom cloud slowly rose, and the ground shook violently. It's like the end of the world. After seeing this, the whole world fell into a period of deathly silence. Everyone was silent, not knowing what to say. After a long time, people finally reacted and took a deep breath. Destroyed a mountain in an instant. This. What a terrifying destructive power this is. If this giant dragon is allowed to spray a few times, an island will probably sink completely. Is this a phantom beast? Is this the power of the pirate emperor? This is too terrifying. It's just like a monster. Sabayati Archipelago. Kira said with difficulty. Hey, kid, let's change the challenge target. Kid didn't speak, just swallowed hard. The previous arrogance completely disappeared, leaving only a look of shock and horror in his eyes. Apu on the side suddenly spoke. Whitebeard is going to Marine Headquarters to seek death, so there are three four emperors left besides him. Forget Kaido. Charlotte Linlin's bounty is almost the same as him, so it's probably not that easy to deal with. Kid came to his senses at this time and wiped the cold sweat from his head. In that case, let's target the Red Hair Pirates. Among the four emperors, Red Hair not only has the smallest bounty, but also has the weakest subordinates and power. When the coding is completed, we will go to New World. Use it as a stepping stone for us to dominate New World. The Straw Hat Pirates stared at the sky with their mouths open. Usopp's legs kept shaking and he stammered. Hey, Luffy. What do you think? How dare you provoke such a monster? Luffy frowned and said, I don't know why I fought with Kaido. But since it happened, there must be a reason to fight. Although I have never played against each other. But judging from the strength Kaido showed in the sky. This guy is clearly not as powerful as Rob Lucci or Gecko Moria. Luffy doesn't want to rob others, nor does he have any intention of dominating the world. But if anyone dares to hurt his companions, no matter who the enemy is, he will knock them away. Azure Dragon. Zoro chuckled, with a strong fighting spirit in his eyes. I don't know if the dragons killed by the dragon-slaying swordsmen hundreds of years ago were so powerful. The scene changes. The top of Ghost Island. Kaido and Charlotte Linlin stand side by side. Opposite the two of them. They are Luffy, Zoro, Kid, Kira, and Luo, the five supernovas. The appearance of this scene instantly caused an uproar around the world. Even Marine Marshal Sengoku, who was always known for his calmness and calmness, was shocked. He looked solemnly and said slowly. Looking at this situation, the Beasts Pirates and the BIGMOM Pirates will become an alliance in the future. This group of supernovas have also united. It seems like something big happened in Wanokuni. Kazaru let out a sigh. Kaido is as strong as a monster. I didn't expect someone like him to join forces with Charlotte Linlin. What happened to Wanokuni? Sengoku also reacted at this time and said in a deep voice. It's not that I can't understand it. After all, these two people were members of Rock's Pirate before. I just didn't expect these supernovas to dare to challenge two pirate emperors at the same time. But no matter which side wins, it's a good thing for us. Next, the perspective in the sky was locked on Kaido. As Luffy knocked over Kaido with a karma fire fist that wrapped around Emission. The battle between the four emperors and Supernova has officially begun. Kaido got up from the ground and wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. The next moment, his figure disappeared from the spot. The wind is raging and thunder is rushing. Thunder, eight trigrams. Sengoku and others who were watching the battle shrank their pupils. Conqueror's entanglement. What a terrible blow. Did you barely manage to avoid it? Straw Hat Luffy's observation hockey looks pretty good. As Kaido took action, the ant on the side was not willing to be alone and joined the battle. Well, well, well. The soul creation Prometheus burst out with terrifying flames like the sun, bending towards Luffy. Fire from heaven. At this critical moment. Fox fire style flame crack slash. Zoro, who had been prepared for a long time, drew his sword and flew forward. One blow tore the sun apart. Hey, Linlin, Lin, I want to see the strength of these guys. Kaido said as he dragged the mace towards the opponent. He did not choose to strike first, but allowed the opponent to prepare his moves. After a while, Kira's decapitation whirlwind, 
Zoros, three swordsmen style purgatory ghost slash. One on the left and one on the right, rushing towards Kaido in a double team formation. However, Yama's slash only left a shallow dent on Kaido's neck. The eagle's eyes glared. From the perspective of the world's greatest swordsman, the power of this slash is not simple. Unable to break through Kaido's defense. What a powerful physique. Is this the power brought by the blue dragon fruit? The other side. As Zoro Kira attacks, Luffy turned on the fourth gear, Kid controlled the metal to transform into a magnetic demon form, and Luo controlled countless huge sharp stones to rush towards Kaido. Kaido's fighting spirit was completely aroused, and he couldn't help bursting into laughter. In fourth gear, Luffy's speed is as fast as ultimate. A white wave streaked through the air, spanning hundreds of meters in an instant. The huge fist hit Kaido hard in the abdomen, sending him flying away. But not long after, Kaido released his strength and landed steadily. Before he could take a breath, Kid drove the magnet demon in pursuit. Kaido tightened the mace in his hand, but chose a more arrogant response. He did not dodge or evade, using his body to resist the crushing of the steel body. The boulder controlled by Luo arrived belatedly, bombarding Kaido's position like meteors. After a while, Kaido's laughter could be heard amidst the noise and smoke. The next moment, he transformed into a giant dragon, circling his body and soaring upward. There was a strong wind over Gita. Like a Category 12 typhoon, the supernovas were blown around and their formations were instantly in chaos. Bad wind. The dragon took a sharp breath. Countless wind blades spewed out of his mouth, overwhelming the sky and flying downwards. The power of each wind blade is not inferior to the slashes issued by the swordsman, and it cuts off the distant mountain peaks effortlessly. The battle scenes between the two sides shocked people around the world. In addition to having a body like a monster, he can trigger attacks like natural disasters with just a single movement of his hands. He is indeed the four emperors who dominate the new world. Except that it cannot be elementalized, it is just like a Logia user. No wonder it is a species of phantom beast even rarer than Logia. No wonder it ranks sixth. Dressrosa Royal Palace. Looking at the scene in the sky, Da Flamingo couldn't help but sneered. It was simply a crushing battle. How dare these brats dare to challenge Kaido without knowing the heights of the world. Next moment. Luo flashed to Kaido's side instantly, bursts of green light emitting a dangerous aura emitted from his hands. The gamma scalpel penetrates deeply into the body and destroys a large number of cells instantly. Even Kaido couldn't help but let out a loud wail. The smile on Da Flamingo's face froze instantly, and he said in disbelief. This kid. Dot has grown to this extent. You know, even he can't break through Kaido's defense. It can only be said that it is worthy of being an op-op fruit worth 5 billion baileys. Kaido was about to retreat, but Kira came rushing towards him brandishing a rapidly rotating scythe. The spinning slash penetrated the dragon's body, cutting every inch of muscle. At the same time, the fourth speed Luffy flying in midair also launched an attack. The fist wrapped around emission turned into countless afterimages and hit Kaido's body overwhelmingly. After bombarding for several minutes, until the time in the fourth gear ran out, the dragon was finally knocked to the ground. But the next moment, Kaido flew into the air vigorously and bit the exhausted Luffy. Seeing this scene, Da Flamingo smiled arrogantly again. See, this is the partnership of the Don Quixote family. The four emperors Kaido will not be defeated no matter what, his strength is overwhelming. Seeing the captain in danger, Zoro stood up without hesitation. I don't know if it's evil spirit, ghost energy, or hockey mixed together. After the transformation of Yama, a purple dragon instantly formed and soared into the sky. The powerful aura made even Kaido look at him sideways. Three blade style black rope big tornado. However, the sword storm that ravaged the world only left a negligible wound on the dragon's body. Fortunately, this move also saved Luffy. After repeated battles, Kaido finally exited the dragon form. Transformed into a more oppressive dragon-like form specially designed for fighting. Kaido looked at Kaido whose appearance changed drastically, with blue dragon scales all over his body. Kira launched a tentative attack. Unexpectedly, the moves that could cause some damage before were completely ineffective now. Kaido and Big Mom then stood side by side and joined forces to launch Hahai. 
The terrifying energy impacted the distorted space and swept towards everyone. If Zoro hadn't tried his best to block this devastating blow, I'm afraid the supernova alliance has been destroyed. Even so, Zoro was beaten to pieces with broken bones all over his body and collapsed on the ground. After seeing this scene, all the giants, including Prince Loki, were horrified and speechless. Wio, Hakoku, Bahai. These three moves are powerful martial arts that Elbaf is proud of. Even in a mighty country, only giants with powerful talents can display it. Unexpectedly, these two people actually use the ultimate secret to dominate the sea. The battle continues. Kaido in his draconian form. Not only is the strength and defense further enhanced, but one can also control wind, fire, thunder and lightning at will. Kaido waved the iron rod. The thunder pillar soaring into the sky pierced the sea of clouds, and the bursting thunder shook the eardrums. After a few simple moves. One strike of falling three worlds and Yin Naraku knocked Luffy completely unconscious. Lu Chi, Kaku, and Jabra were stunned. They never expected. Luffy and Zoro, who defeated them some time ago, have actually grown to this extent. What shocked them even more was Kaido. As users with zone abilities, they are simply babies who have just learned to walk. On a fast-moving warship. Garp stood on the deck, looking at the sky solemnly. In terms of taijutsu and hockey, Kaido, who is one of the four emperors, is not inferior to him at all. The azure dragon fruit also brought a terrifying increase to it. With just a few gestures, he can create a huge momentum that is as high as a natural disaster. Not to mention Luffy. Even he is not sure that he can win. On the screen, the battle between Supernova and Kaido continues. During this period, in order to protect Luffy, Zoro transformed into a terrifying posture with three heads and six arms. Nine Swordsman style Ashura draws the sword the play of the dead. The earth shattering slash slashed towards Kaido. What is disappointing is that. Such a powerful move only left a superficial wound on Kaido's body. Hawkeye's movements froze, and the red wine glass in his hand was inadvertently crushed to pieces. Through this series of battle scenes, he could feel that Zoro's strength had reached the level of a great swordsman. This move of the Nine Sword style Ashura draws the sword the play of the dead. It's enough to instantly kill a strong man with a bounty of less than one billion. However, even Hawkeye struck with caution. Not to mention killing Kaido, he couldn't even inflict serious damage. The defense is really strong, it's like an immune-to-death monster. Aboard the Redfords, red hair pirates stared nervously at the sky. Shanks sighed softly. Even if Luffy mastered the top armament hockey, he was still no match for Kaido. Is that the end? Beckman slowly exhaled a puff of smoke and said calmly. Only by mastering Ba Tang can you be qualified to fight the four emperors. In the picture, Kid, Kira, Luo, Zoro and Big Mom left the battlefield together. At this time, only Luffy and Kaido were left in the Skull Dome. Just as Kaido was about to execute Luffy, Luffy suddenly realized the Conqueror's entanglement. A huge drag kick hit the mace. Although they didn't touch each other, they erupted with the power of a meteorite impact. It was as if there was an absolute vacuum between the two. The Conqueror's hockey on both sides turned into red and black lightning, and they clashed fiercely again. Rumble. Like a volcano erupting. Deafening roars continued to explode in everyone's ears. The earth trembled continuously. The spreading aftermath caused the world to change color. Aboard the sunny. Seeing the earth shattering scene in the sky, Usopp, Nami and others were almost dumbfounded. Lu, Luffy. Have you become so strong in the future? But this time the enemy is also terrifyingly strong. Hey, why would you want to provoke such a terrifying monster? Impel down inside the prison. Countless prisoners were also dumbfounded. Crocodile's eyes were filled with disbelief. He couldn't figure it out anyway. The rookie in his eyes could actually be evenly matched with the four emperors in the future. Bullet laughed wildly. Great, it seems that in the years since Lousy was imprisoned in Impel Down, many strong men have emerged in the sea. Although Straw Hat Luffy, Zoro, Kid, Luo and others are also quite strong. But his eyes were firmly fixed on Kaido. There was no other reason than that bullet felt an unusually familiar feeling from the other person. Both of them are born for fighting, the purest warriors. Bullet's fighting spirit is getting higher and higher. 
the terrifying conqueror's hockey was released unintentionally, sweeping across the entire sixth floor. He couldn't wait to go out and compete with the opponent. Aboard Moby Dick, everyone in the Whitebeard Pirates looked shocked. Ace's brother actually understood Conqueror's entanglement. This. Even Whitebeard, known as the strongest man in the world, couldn't help but look at him with suspicion. However, it didn't take long for the two to fight. Luffy rolled his eyes, lost consciousness, and fell towards the sea. Kaido stood proudly on the top of the ghost island with a mace on his shoulder, silently watching the falling figures below. Straw Hat Boy, you can't become Joey Boy after all. Holy Land Maria Joy, Pangea. The expressions of the five elders are extremely complex. They didn't expect that. These pirate supernovas have grown to this extent in the future. And Luffy even realized Conqueror's entanglement, the ultimate power in this sea. But what surprised them the most was Kaido's terrifying dominance. Looking at the picture, Kaido's unrivaled dominance appears. The five elders couldn't help but sigh. While holding up the entire ghost island, fighting so many strong men in turns, but still able to crush them with absolute strength. We still underestimated this guy. Kaido is already a powerful warrior, and with the blue dragon fruit of the phantom beast species, he is worthy of his reputation as the strongest creature in the world. At this time, a CPO member hurried over and half knelt on the ground to report. Master Five Elders, Emergency. Just received news that Marine Admiral Sakazuki has left Marine. Leaving with him are the three naval headquarters Vice Admirals, Ghost Spider, Doberman, and Stalo Berry. What? The five elders were stunned and stood up from the sofa. Leaving Marine at this juncture. What on earth do they want to do? This guy Akainu actually gave up his position as Marine Admiral. How could such a thing happen? Sartan suddenly remembered the future seen in the previous canopy. The conflict between Akainu and Aokiji has been around for a long time. In the battle for Marshall, no matter who wins or loses, the loser will continue to stay in Marine without shame. Everyone said gloomily. It's not just them, don't forget, that guy Zephyr is also a hidden danger. It seems that the problems within Marine are more serious than we imagined. Can't we wait until we deal with Whitebeard? The five elders know this. What if Marine kills the Whitebeard pirates in the next summit war? This internet rocks pirate is now almost on top of the world. Kaido's threat is no less than Whitebeard. Now Marine's strength has been weakened. How can they accept this? CP0, who was kneeling on the ground, paused and continued nervously. Also, besides, intelligence intercepts Charlotte Linlin's phone bug. The BIGMOM pirates and the Beasts pirates have formed a pirate alliance and plan to participate in the upcoming battle on top. The faces of the five elders suddenly changed. He looked at the sky with shock and anger, and was speechless for a long time. Satan took a deep breath and asked in a deep voice. How is the world recruitment process going? Recruit admiral level warriors at all costs. Not long after, another CPO member hurried over. Not long after the recruitment information was released, many people signed up enthusiastically. Two of them deserve special attention. This is their information, please take a look at it. Sartan took the document handed over by CP0, and the eye-catching characters came into view. Smile, Paramesha Multiple Fruit Ability User. Aramaki, a user with Logia Fruit Ability. Sixth place. Zone Phantom Beast Species, Fish Fruit Green Dragon Form. Owner, Kaido. Start distributing heavenly gifts. Devil Fruit's abilities are enhanced and he acquires the bloodline of the ancient Purgatory Dragon. The solemn and solemn voice sounded in the minds of everyone. Ghost Island. Kaido, who was drinking wine, suddenly stopped what he was doing. Rune Continent. Ancient Dragon Bloodline. What the hell? An inexplicable memory emerged in my mind. Before Kaido could react, an extremely domineering energy burst out from nowhere in the burly body. Its intensity even frightened him. Next moment, this energy rushes wildly. In an instant, it surged through all the limbs and bones, reaching into every cell in the body. The skin began to break apart, and the arms suddenly turned dark red, and even began to swell irregularly and become deformed. It looks extremely ferocious. Crunchy. There was an unbearable, grinding sound coming from the body. The muscles are constantly stretched and deformed. Bones are twisting, breaking, and reforming. 
crimson flame surged and erupted from the inside out. This pain was too intense. Kaido frowned, and drops of cold sweat kept falling from his forehead. Activate armament hockey immediately to strengthen your body. At the same time, devil fruit living in the body seems to feel a huge external threat. In order to avoid the complete destruction of the body, the bloodline factors buried deepest in the body went berserk. Begin to resist this external force. Not just the body. Kaido is also under unimaginable mental pressure. Deep in his heart, a violent consciousness from ancient times emerged. The veins on his forehead bulged, and his expression became crazy, as if he had lost his mind. In my heart, I can't help but have the absurd idea of destroying the world. This sudden and terrifying sight immediately caused the surrounding pirates to cast suspicious glances. But the next moment, the powerful dragon pressure was vented in all directions. A roar like a volcanic eruption suddenly sounded in everyone's mind, and their thoughts went blank for an instant. At this time, they were like a group of ants, facing a terrifying monster from ancient times. Except for ordinary members, even the powerful Fei Lubao could not suppress the trembling of their bodies. His soul was about to be torn apart, and the cells in his body were constantly screaming. Run T and Peggy Wan couldn't help but knelt down. Jin, Quinn, Jack's expression changed drastically and he couldn't help but take a few steps back. What a terrifying smell. He didn't know how to describe this feeling in words. Brutal, evil, and unspeakably powerful. For a moment, I even suspected that Boss Kaido had completely broken away from the category of human beings. I don't know how much time has passed. Boom. 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 The almost silent heart began to beat violently, and the broken body continued to reorganize. The two dragon powers merged perfectly. At this time, Kaido felt like his whole person had almost completely changed. He slowly opened his eyes and silently felt the changes in his body. Next moment, the wind and clouds changed colors, lightning flashed and thunder roared. A shadow that covered the sky and the sun suddenly enveloped the entire ghost island. Compared with before, the dragon's body became stronger and stronger, reaching a terrifying 3,000 meters in length. The sharp claws that are nearly a hundred meters long leave no doubt that it can cut a warship in half with just one stroke. Dense red and green dragon scales appeared on the body. The hardness reaches an extremely astonishing level, comparable to diamond. The chest and abdomen are shining with a deep dark red light. There seems to be endless lava surging inside the body. Compared with the original mysterious and elegant image of the oriental dragon, it undoubtedly adds a bit of hockey and ferociousness. Is this the power of the dragon clan in another world? It's really powerful, ha 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 ha. Accompanied by strong winds and thunder, the giant dragon disappeared among the clouds. Pengu City. The five elders looked at the sky worriedly. The bloodline of the ancient purgatory dragon. This kind of thing sounds like something extraordinary. Kaido's strength is already strong, and now he has been rewarded by the system. I don't know how Wanokuni's battle ended. HMPH, how can those supernovas be Kaido and Big Mom's opponents? The threat of Kaido cannot be ignored, and it is best to start planning now. No, the most important thing right now is Ace's execution. We must concentrate all our strength, even if we dispatch the Knights of God, we must completely defeat the Whitebeard Pirates. It's useless to think so much now. I hope there will be more people from World Government and Marine on the list next. For Marine, the only ones that may be on the list are Akainu's Lava Lava Fruit and Sengoku's Great Buddha Fruit. The five elders sighed secretly. Devil Fruit has autonomous consciousness. Powerful fruits like Logia and Phantasmal Beasts have a stronger sense of self. They will even search for a suitable host on their own initiative. Although the celestial dragons hold hundreds of devil fruits in their hands, most of them are mediocre. At this time, the name of the fifth devil fruit appeared on the marquee. The fifth strongest devil fruit, Paramesha Op Op Fruit. Owner, Trajafar Law. What? He's actually the sixth one. The legendary Op Op Fruit that can give people immortality. The five elders' faces were as dark as the bottom of a pot. In order to get it, the world government even spent 5 billion belly to buy it. This fruit is more valuable than the heads of the four emperors. Nasushiro Sage clenched the first generation Kidetsu in his hand and said in a cold tone. But that's a good thing. 
Forget about the others on the list, this guy is just a small character with a bounty of 200 million belly. Recover this fruit immediately before he grows up. The other five elders nodded secretly. Don't worry, Sabayati Archipelago's agents have locked down their location. Kazaru is also heading there with Senmomaru and a hundred pacifists. Asshole. This op-op fruit should belong to Lousy. Hysterical roars erupted in Dressrosa's palace. Looking at the two lines of subtitles in the marquee. Da Flamingo was so uncomfortable that he almost vomited blood. He also tried to snatch the op-op fruit from marine and pirates. However, he was betrayed by Krasin and Trafalgar Law, and was stolen first. The rankings on this list may be artificial and inevitably contain some subjective meanings. But no matter what, since it can stand out among the numerous devil fruits, it naturally has its own special features. Da Flamingo was shaking with anger at the thought. Cake Island Port. Aboard the Mama Queen Anthem. Another Paramesha. Why doesn't my name appear? Charlotte Linlin frowned deeply. Tragafar Law. What a strange name, he seems to be a newcomer. The eldest son Perospero on the side handed over a reward order. Mom, this guy is the pirate supernova with a bounty of 200 million belly. In the scene just now, he appeared on Ghost Island with Luffy, Kid and others. The aunt's face trembled, and she couldn't help but sneered. Oh, is that the kid wearing a Madara hat and pretending to be cool? He's just a nobody, but he deserves to have the fifth place devil fruit. Op op fruit. Performing surgery on people. Auntie couldn't understand something. No matter from the name of the fruit or the battle scene just shown on the screen, you can't tell how powerful it is. Not to mention being ranked in front of Kaido's blue dragon fruit. The only thing worthy of praise is probably the courage to challenge the four emperors. Well, well, well. Even if a small character like that gets a powerful fruit, there is no need to pay attention to it. The most important thing now is to reunite with the beast's pirates. Kaido seems to have received a pretty awesome reward. After so many years of absence, the ant couldn't wait to see this little brother. There was a lot of talk around the world. People can't understand. Although Luo is also a great pirate with a bounty of 200 million belly. But who are these people on the list? Either seven warlords of the sea or marine admiral and four emperors. Just the weight of pirate supernova is not enough. How can he de Hay occupy the fifth place? Sabayati Archipelago. A kind of supernova looked at Luo in surprise. Kid looked unhappy and said, Hey, are you kidding me? You're actually the fifth one. Among this group of supernovas, he clearly had the highest bounty, but all the limelight was taken away by Luffy and Luo. This made him feel extremely unbalanced. Luo said in a deep voice, Now is not the time to talk nonsense, our whereabouts have been exposed. If you continue to stay here, there might be some trouble. Luo sighed secretly in his heart. In the future, Marine Admiral Kazaru arrives to capture their group of supernovas. Now that his name appears on this ranking list, it is bound to attract great attention from the world government. Captain, look. At this moment, Bebo's voice suddenly attracted everyone's attention. Everyone looked to the sky. Two lines of narration text came into view. Paramesha op op fruit can be roughly divided into six skills according to its characteristics. Space skills, electric shock skills, impact attack, defensive skills, special skills, legendary skills. Apu. Hawkins. Kid. Facing the confused looks of everyone around him, Luo couldn't help but cover his face. My information has been completely leaked. Marine headquarters. Sengoku said in surprise. Wait. Isn't that punk hazard? That's right, that guy is the vice admiral of the G5 branch, Virgo. Huh. Smoker is there too. He couldn't help but frown. Something doesn't look right. Looks like Law and Smoker are working together against Virgo. What happened there? Aokiji waved his hand and said calmly. Well, you'll find out after you read it. I have heard about Virgo. This guy is very accomplished in strengthening armament hockey. Choosing him as your opponent is probably not a wise choice. Sengoku nodded. Yes, it's time to see the so-called Op-Op Fruit's ability. Is it really as omnipotent as Tianmu said? Op-Op Fruit. Sengoku sighed secretly in his heart. Chunin couldn't help but think of a name. Rosanant, just show me. How powerful is this fruit that you exchanged for your life? The first characteristic of Op-Op Fruit, space system. 
When the ability is activated, the surrounding space will be included in a spherical space called room. The range changes with the strength of the ability user. Ability users can control everything in the space at will, including but not limited to translation, replacement, and cutting. In the screen, Luo held Gui Cry in his hand and slashed forward with his sword. In front of him, Virgo was covered in armament hockey, along with the laboratory dome and the huge iceberg outside. Everything within a kilometer radius was cut into two pieces with one knife. This scene was so impactful that Marine was dumbfounded. Are you kidding? A slash of this level. The vice admirals present all had pale faces. Virgo has already used armament hockey to this extent. But he was still unable to resist and was killed instantly with a knife. Perhaps only the Admiral Four Emperors have such terrifying strength, right? Sengoku's eyes narrowed and he seemed to be a little out of sorts. Could it be that this guy has reached the level of a great swordsman? Aokiji shook his head solemnly. Impossible. If he is really a great swordsman, it is absolutely impossible that he only has a bounty of 200 million belly. I'm afraid he has already become famous all over the world. Pay attention. Virgo who is cut off at the waist, is neither dead nor bleeding. This move is not a slash, but rather like spatial dislocation. Sengoku suddenly remembered the words room space and cutting mentioned by the narrator just now. I see, is it the fruit's ability? In other words, he can cut open any object at will within that realm. Suddenly someone asked. In that case, why didn't he use this technique on Kaido and Big Mom? Wouldn't cutting off their heads end the battle instantly? Sengoku shook his head. Don't forget the existence of hockey. Armament hockey can weaken the influence of Devil Fruit's ability. Luo's ability to kill Virgo instantly with one sword shows that his ability is superior to his opponent's hockey. However, it cannot have any effect on powerful people like Kaido and Big Mom. Aokiji added on the side. Yes, the strength of Devil Fruit's abilities depends on the Esper itself. If his strength reaches the level of the four emperors in the future, I'm afraid he will cut Kaido in half with a single blow. Next, there are various scenes of Luo launching a slaughterhouse on the screen. Within the scope of room, humans, boulders, warships. Everything is being controlled at will and flying in the air. Sengoku murmured. That's it. In this room space, he can replace himself or other objects at will to achieve the effect of instant movement. If a person with the meatball fruit ability wants to activate the ability of teleportation, he or she must hit himself or the opponent with the meatball on his palm. But op op fruit can be activated instantly without any contact. Although it is not as good as the meatball fruit in terms of long distance movement. But it has unimaginable huge advantages in combat. Look, he can also use his spatial ability to take out the opponent's heart. Although the person whose heart was removed is still alive, he is always under the control of the other party. Thinking of this, Aokiji couldn't help but sigh. This room space covers attack, dodge, and assistance. In other words, as long as he is within that realm, he is the one who controls everything. It's really a powerful ability. A few drops of cold sweat flowed from Vice Admiral's forehead. That is to say, when faced with an opponent weaker than yourself, the battle will be over in an instant like a crushing blow. Even if you face an enemy that is stronger than you, can you use your teleportation ability to avoid attacks or escape from the battlefield? Sengoku nodded slowly and said in a deep voice. That's right. This alone is already a pretty powerful ability. Even Virgo was defeated by this guy. Da Flamingo stared blankly at the sky, suddenly having a bad premonition in his heart. Is it possible that this guy will find him next? As expected. The screen changed and the scene of Dressrosa appeared. Luo and Luffy joined forces to attack Da Flamingo. In addition to space-based abilities, Op Op Fruit is also very good in attack. Impact attack, injection and shooting. Aim at one point and use the weapon to guide the shock wave through the opponent's body. Accompanied by narration text. A scene emerged of Da Flamingo's entire abdomen being blown through. Torball shook his long nose and said in panic. Dover. These two fools actually came to our door. Seeing his embarrassed appearance in the picture, Da Flamingo burst into anger. So what? There's no way to kill Lousy with this attack. No matter what kind of injury he suffers, he can use string string fruit to mend the wound. When it comes to the development of devil fruit, 
he will never lose to Luo. Electric shock techniques. Counter shock, high frequency scalpel, gamma knife. Causing huge damage to the target's internal organs without damaging the outside. Accompanied by the appearance of two lines of subtitles. The scene suddenly changed. Da Flamingo lay dying on the ground, his heart broken. Outraged, Da Flamingo became silent. He suddenly realized a problem. Luffy and Luo Nang came to Wanokuni and stood in front of Kaido and Big Mom. Doesn't it mean that these two guys have killed him in this battle? No, this kind of thing must not happen. How could Lousy be defeated by such a guy? Da Flamingo seemed to have made up his mind, picked up the bug phone and called Beasts Pirates. Seven Warlords of the Sea, original bounty of 340 million Barry Da Flamingo defeated. Marine Headquarters. Everyone was surprised. In addition to space-based abilities, Op Op Fruit also has excellent attack power. It can ignore the opponent's external defense and attack directly into the body. This is simply the skill of high-level armament hockey. Sengoku immediately realized the horror of Op Op Fruit. If there is even a moment of slackness in the battle, the opponent can teleport over and deliver a fatal blow. Even if you miss, you can immediately transfer space and wait for the next opportunity. In other words, in the battle, Op Op Fruit users have an absolute advantage. Luffy said in surprise, Hey, Terra Man and I teamed up to kill a Shichibukai. Zoro next to him chuckled. Hey, Luffy. If you include this guy, it looks like you took care of three Shichibukai. The world government must be feeling a headache, right? Everyone couldn't help but nodded. But thinking about the scene where Luffy Zoro and others will deal with the two four emperors in the future. This is nothing. Luffy said with a smile. But this guy's ability is really amazing. He should still be on the island now, right? Since we will all form an alliance in the future, we might as well invite him to go to the new world together. As I said, if you want to go to new world, you have to pass through the Fishmen Island. The top priority is to find a coding master as soon as possible. Then let's split up. The ant frowned. Even though she is called the Queen of Soul by the world. But to have the current status. What they relied on was the invulnerable body and the terrifying power that was far superior to the giants. Op Op Fruit is undoubtedly her biggest nemesis. Thinking of the scene she saw on the ghost island before, Auntie suddenly had a bad premonition in her heart. Impossible. No matter how powerful Devil Fruit is, they are just two brats after all. I don't know how many newcomers I have seen who want to challenge the Emperor of the Sea. But without exception, they all sank into the sea in the end. Just when she thought so. The scene of Wanokuni Ghost Island appears again in the sky. Only this time the perspective shifted from the Skull Dome to the interior of the castle. Tragafar Ro, Eustace Kid. In front of the two supernovas was none other than four emperors Charlotte Linlin. Countless swords and weapons flew towards Kid on the battlefield. Forming a huge steel arm, it violently collided with the serrated magic blade. Sparks flew, gravel flew. A huge roar could be heard. The powerful shock wave destroyed the surrounding area. Luo continued to use, Slaughterhouse, to assist Kid in the fight. After the two parties tested each other for a while, the ant seemed to lose her patience. Combine the Thunder Cloud Hera and the Serrated Magic Blade Napoleon into one. At this time, Luo teleported in front of the ant, and hit the opponent with a heart pulse electric shock, causing the opponent to vomit blood and stagger. Kid took advantage of the situation and continued to activate his magnetic fruit ability. A large amount of metal was precisely deformed and assembled, and merged into the form of a magnetic demon that was tens of meters tall. Such a fierce battle broke out at the beginning. Everyone in the world held their breath and stared at the sky. On the deck of the Moby Dick. Marco was surprised. These two brats are actually evenly matched with Auntie. Whitebeard didn't care very much, and Gululu took a big sip of wine. Linlin -lin was not killed so easily. I heard that this guy killed an elder of the giant clan when he was five years old. He was extremely powerful and invulnerable. He was a born monster. When we were in Rock's Pirate together. He had never even seen Lin Lin injured, let alone defeated. If you can't master the top armament hockey, there's no way you can hurt her. This is a fight that is without a doubt. But this red-haired brat is quite good. He was able to fight Lin Lin for so long, and with that form, it seems like his fruit power should have awakened. Red hair. 
It's really annoying. On the screen, the ant shouted angrily. Kid, don't get too carried away. Wei Guo. Auntie's aura continued to rise. A dazzling bright light suddenly burst out from the serrated magic blade. The next moment, the fierce and violent slashes were like a volcano erupting, unleashing them wantonly. In an instant, it spanned a distance of hundreds of meters and chopped the magnetic demon into countless pieces. Auntie was not happy yet. Suddenly I felt a chill on my back. At some point, Luo suddenly appeared behind Auntie. He held the ghost cry in his right hand and pressed it against the ant's body. A spherical blue energy ball appeared in his left hand, covering the sword blade. K room. Anna aesthetization. The next moment, the entire blade penetrated Charlotte Linlin's back without any hindrance and stabbed out from the throat. The ant was so horrified that she was about to fight back but found that she couldn't move her body. Shock wave. Following Luo's plain voice, a dazzling golden light suddenly burst out from the sword blade. The intense energy even caused space to begin to distort. Boom. The ant's eyes turned white as if she had been severely injured, and a burst of black smoke came out of her mouth. This sudden scene shocked people all over the world. Whitebeard's expression froze. Are you kidding? Lin Lin, who is invulnerable, was seriously injured. This move can actually ignore the target's defense. Seeing Luo succeed with one blow. Kid didn't miss this great opportunity either. The power of magnetic fruit is unreserved and explodes to your heart's content. Given. Devil fruit can assimilate the surrounding environment after awakening. Auntie's body was turned into a magnet at this time. Throughout the battlefield, thousands of swords and weapons rushed in her direction. The castle shook. Countless steel bars were peeled off from the walls and columns. Each one has a weight of dozens of tons, setting off bursts of sharp whistling sounds, shooting towards Auntie's location like a torrential rain. Boom boom boom. The ground was shaken. Countless metals piled up into a mountain, completely submerging Auntie. But the next moment. Leave her life. Evil murmurs came from the ruins. This moment. The air seemed to be stagnant. The souls of the surrounding spectators were pulled out one after another. The ant who was buried in the ruins had a flash of light in her eyes, giving life to the surrounding steel. Then he spent a year of his life to strengthen himself. The originally huge body became even bigger, exuding a suffocating murderous intent. Tianmen, the great god of freedom. In the banquet hall. The purple thunder raged wildly, as if it was going to blow every inch of the land into scorched earth. The indiscriminate attacks raised the surrounding areas to the ground. Looking at Kid and Luo lying on the ground. The ant shifted her gaze and turned to look above the castle. I haven't heard Kaido's cheers of victory yet. Are you still playing boring pirate games with that straw hat boy? Hera, take me to the roof. I'm very tired now, let's finish it in one go. Just when Auntie was about to leave here, a voice suddenly came from below. K room. Luo stood up from the ground again, a mysterious light ball condensed in his palm. The sword blade in his hand carried a blue light and extended to dozens of meters. It stabbed upward like a rainbow piercing the sun, instantly breaking open Auntie's arm and penetrating her head. The shock wave of this blow implements the secret of space. Unstoppable, irresistible. Auntie's whole body was shaken violently. She was so severely injured that she couldn't control her body and fell from the thundercloud. The Iron Homet's army swarmed forward and surrounded Luo. Just as they were about to punish the thug who attacked the queen, they were suddenly sucked away by a powerful force. What's going on? We seem to. Kid, stop blabbering. You bunch of stinking steel bars, surrender to my magnetism. Countless scraps of scrap metal gathered into a torrent of steel. Auntie couldn't believe that these two brats who had been knocked down countless times by her could still stand up. You two brats, are you determined to take my head? Magnetic energy big demonic bull. There was a loud noise. The metal frenzy builds armor and cattle bones, and the magnetic force of all things pulls steel bars and iron hooves. Even the giant ant couldn't withstand this powerful impact and was directly knocked away by the metal demon cow. Hey, old woman. Listen to me. Even if you die, we won't let you go to the roof. Auntie stood up slowly from the ruins. What is unbelievable is that her arm was broken. The ant looked down fearfully. Will the shock wave emitted from the body even damage the bones? Trajafar's skills are indeed too dangerous. The ant raised her left hand, 
condensed the soul light wave in her palm, and gently touched the fracture of her right arm. I give you life, come to life, bones. In an instant, the power of new life was injected into the bones of Auntie's body. Restore the wounds one by one. The broken bones in the arm were given life, and the injuries healed instantly. Prometheus, Hera, and Napoleon are coming. Hi, Mom. The three major horcruxes moved in response and merged into one. A dazzling bright light burst out suddenly. Blazing flames and wild thunder burst out of the air with a sharp slash. This sound of the lightsaber directly cut the magnetic demon cow in half. The ant continued to sneer. The time to dream is about to end. Kids, hundreds of pirates like you have already sunk to the bottom of the sea. When we ruled this sea, you were still nursing. Not to be outdone, kid replied. It's useless, it's just a creation made of a bunch of metals. Even if it is destroyed many times, it can be reassembled. The battle has reached its most critical moment. He had no reservations anymore and crazily activated the power of magnetic fruit. The ant is firmly attached to a huge tower. Dozens or hundreds of tons of metal were assembled into a brand new metal demon cow, which rushed towards Ante. However, this four emperors burst out with terrifying power and forcibly carried a tower weighing hundreds of tons on his back. She turned around with difficulty and used the tower as a shield to block another impact of the metal demonic bull. The ant couldn't stop panting, and she was completely furious at this time. Just when I was about to take action. A black shadow suddenly enveloped the head. The ant looked upward in horror. A huge tower fell down. Baton. The huge tower fell straight down, burying the unprepared ant under the rubble. In a burst of exclamations, the pirates dispersed. Tragafalro passed through the billowing smoke and jumped into the air. K. Room's light wave passed over the sharp blade in his hand and stabbed into Bigmom's chest. You're so brave, aren't you ready to run away? The furious ant waved the iron fist wrapped around armament hockey and beat the kid on the chest violently like raindrops. However, no matter how much Auntie ravaged her, Luo always held the blade in his hand tightly and remained motionless. A smile appeared on his face stained with fatigue and blood. Your era ends here. K. Room, piercing wave. There was a loud noise and the sky collapsed. The sword blade in his hand penetrates the Nine Heavens Dome, spanning thousands of meters to the underground magma. Under this, K. Room piercing wave. The ant's internal organs were completely destroyed, and blood continued to spurt out of her mouth. The pupils also began to dilate. But she is the pirate emperor after all, and even if she suffered such heavy losses, she would not forget to launch a counterattack. The witch composed of Prometheus, Hera, and Napoleon attacked the dying Luo. Kid lived up to the precious time Luo bought. The ultimate move is finally ready. Countless metals were constructed into a huge barrel, aimed downwards. The ant was frightened and angry, and kept yelling and scolding. Come on, you fool. You guys want to kill me. I'm big mom. Kid smiled evilly and pulled the trigger without flinching. That's why I want to kill you. Super electromagnetic gun. A dazzling light burst out from the huge barrel. A beam of destruction light blasted straight down. However, Kid's killing blow with all his strength. He couldn't even make Big Mom move at all, let alone blast her into a huge hole. The ant kept laughing wildly. Make your choice, little devils. What will be your fate next? Should I surrender my 50 years of life and die, or should I become my slave and continue to live? Although he was suppressed by the strong electromagnetic shock and unable to get up. But Auntie still showed how terrifying the emperor of the sea was. Unable to move, she scared countless people to the point of being unable to move with just her gaze and momentum. Slave or life, the evil soul spell instantly filled the entire battlefield. In just a moment, he plundered the souls of hundreds of pirates watching the battle around him. Marco looked at the scenes in the sky with an extremely solemn expression. So strong, he deserves to be as famous as the emperor of the sea, my father. He was so seriously injured that he still had the energy to resist. Whitebeard's eyes darkened and he murmured softly. As long as you have the slightest fear of her, your soul will be ruthlessly sucked away. Use them to create soul creations, or to heal and strengthen yourself. That's why she's called the Queen of Soul. Lin Lin extracted the souls of these unrelated people at the scene. I'm afraid he will be able to regain his strength and stand up again soon. 
Whitebeard couldn't help but lock his eyes on Luo. He knows it very well. The reason why Lin Lin is in such a mess is entirely due to this young man. He had no idea that this op op fruit would have such amazing lethality after awakening. Even Auntie, who is known for her defense, was beaten so miserably. Even if I were at my peak now, I wouldn't dare to bear this blow easily. Whitebeard couldn't imagine. If this young man continues to grow, he will train hockey to the top. What a terrifying level the strength will reach. The battle between the four emperors and supernova has reached its most critical moment. After all, the old emperor fell and a new one ascended the throne. Or will he eventually fall at the emperor's feet like countless challengers in the past? All over the world, countless people dare not take a breath and stare at the sky. Just when Auntie continued to absorb souls and was preparing to get up from the ground. The scream you made before you died must have been very harsh, right? Luo squeezed out the last bit of energy and gently raised his fingers. Room. The space realm of Op Op Fruit Envelope's Big Mom. Luo shouted softly, silence. The sound of the soul incantation suddenly stopped, and the noisy banquet hall fell silent instantly. No matter how furiously the ant roared, she could not make any sound. She lost the power of her soul and was seriously injured. Finally, under Kid's pursuit electromagnetic cannon, he was mercilessly blasted into a huge pit. Like a meteor, falling towards the bottom of Ghost Island. Four emperors, Charlotte Linlin declares defeat. Look at the pictures and narration in the sky. There was a period of dead silence all over the world. Eustace Kid, Tragafar Row. These two supernovas actually killed Charlotte Linlin, who had a bounty of 4.388 billion baileys. Sabayati Archipelago. Kid was so happy that he couldn't help but burst out laughing. Ha ha ha. Luo. I didn't expect Lousy to kill the four emperors with you. Apu, Capone Beige, Euroge and others on the side swallowed their saliva and cast surprised glances at the two of them. The next moment, Kid suddenly realized something was wrong. Hey. It was obviously the two of us who worked together to kill him, why are you on the list? Is it possible that my magnetic fruit is ranked higher? Hawkins retorted expressionlessly. How can it be? In this battle, Luo was the main force. Almost all the injuries suffered by Auntie were caused by him alone. Your role is only to push Auntie into that deep pit in the end. The rest of the people nodded in agreement. That's right. Your electromagnetic gun looks bluffing, but in fact it didn't even scratch my skin. Ignoring external defenses and penetrating directly into the body. Luo's ability is really terrifying. That knife actually penetrated the ghost island and penetrated deep into the ground. I'm afraid no one can withstand this blow, right? Listening to everyone's discussion, Kid's face suddenly turned red and white, and he shouted angrily. Hey, Hawkins. Are you tired of living? Do you want Lousy to teach you how to speak? Fight. Hawkins calmly pulled out a few tarot cards. My winning rate is 30%, the probability of defeat is 30%, the probability of escaping is 40%, and the probability of being injured is. Don't stop me, I'm going to kill this fool. This guy Lin Lin actually lost. Whitebeard looked at the sky quietly, with an extremely complicated expression on his face. Although each has different ideas and different positions. But after all, they were once companions in the same boat. They are also strong men who belong to the same era. Witnessing my aunt's defeat at the hands of two junior boys. Whitebeard couldn't describe how he felt. This battle also made Marco, Josie and other squad captains sigh and start talking among themselves. It's really amazing. Seeing them reminds me of the first time I met Ace. In this sea, there will never be a shortage of such talented young people. It is estimated that in a few years, our Whitebeard pirates will be abandoned by the times. Idiot, what are you talking about? Dad can live for another 300 years. Marco suddenly turned his head and looked over. By the way, Dad, do you want to invite Kid and Luo on board? Although they are just newcomers with a bounty of 200 to 300 million baileys. But judging from the strength they will show in the future, they will definitely be quite powerful. These two guys will come to the new world sooner or later anyway. Whitebeard remained silent. He can see it. Neither Kid nor Luo are the kind of guys who want to be inferior to others. The eyes of these two young men shone with a light called ambition. It may be difficult to persuade them to come on board. 
However, Whitebeard also knew that this trip to Marineford would be unlucky. Although he received a reward from heaven and returned to his peak state. But the two marine admirals Aokiji and Kazaru still left a deep impression on him. Whether it's for current actions or for the future. He was going to try it anyway. If only these two young men could be brought under his command. Marco, prepare to sail for the Sabayati archipelago. Also, tell the captains of the pirate group to gather there next time. Inside the Erie castle, Hawkeye put down the wine glass in his hand and couldn't help but stand up from his seat. Is it a slash that can penetrate everything? What a different kind of swordsman. Luo's last blow that penetrated the world completely attracted his attention. It also made the world's greatest swordsman feel a strong fighting spirit in his heart for the first time in a long time. Since reaching the top, he had forgotten how long it had been since he had felt like this. An opponent worth fighting. I hope you can come to Marineford by then. Marine headquarters was the last straw for four emperors turned out to be silence. Sengoku looked up at the sky, filled with emotions. Rosinant. This is the op-op fruit you get at the cost of your life. See how powerful it is. You did see the right person. Law personally terminated one of the four emperors. Your sacrifice, everything you did. All was not in vain. Aokiji on the side couldn't help but sigh. Without hockey, the four emperors would have been beaten into such a mess just by using the power of devil fruit. This op-op fruit is really powerful. In this battle with the four emperors, Luo not only changed Kid's position many times to protect him from Big Mom's attacks many times. He also found the right time and used teleportation to provide a huge amount of output. Finally, expanding the space field and taking away the air was simply a stroke of genius. It can be said that this op-op fruit is applied to ultimate. Even though he was a marine admiral, he couldn't help but cheer for this wonderful battle. But after all, the other party is also a pirate. When op-op fruit first appeared on the charts, the world government immediately issued an order to them. At this time, Kazaru had already left for Sabayati Archipelago. With his speed, he will probably arrive soon. As the battle ended, the sky gradually darkened. Just when people thought that heavenly rewards would appear next. But the scene of Punk Hazard appeared on the screen again. Why is it the Straw Hat crew again? Is it going to be a fight with them next? Huh. The man with short white hair seems to be Smoker Commodore. You mean the guy who foiled Crocodile's plot? Yes, he also appeared when Luo was fighting Virgo Vice Admiral just now. I heard that this guy is an unruly and thorny man. He often ignores the orders of his superiors. Why does he look so well behaved? What's going on with the beautiful woman next to her with her cigar in her mouth and her clothes open? Op Op Fruit's special skill. Mind exchange. Op Op Fruit can separate the target's soul and body. Make it enter a state similar to, soul out of body, and then transplant these souls into other bodies to complete the exchange. Looking at the narration that appeared on the screen, everyone was stunned. Even more shocking than defeating four emperors just now. Sengoku's eyes widened and he murmured. Exchanging minds. Such an operation. He frowned deeply and made his own guess. It seems that Law must have activated his ability to replace the minds of Smoker and Tashigi. Aboard the Sunny. Looking at Chopper who looked like he was stretched to the point of being exhausted and kept making pervert gestures. Luffy and others were all dumbfounded. When Sanji saw the picture, his future self actually occupied Nami's body. In an instant, a nosebleed 10 meters high broke out, and I passed out happily. That idiot and lecherous cook. After Zoro secretly complained, he immediately understood the power of this skill. In other words, no matter how serious the injury is, as long as the op-op fruit user takes action, he can be replaced with a brand new body immediately. This ability is too terrifying. Robin nodded. More than that, it's even a stronger body. Usopp retorted. But how could anyone be willing to give up their original body? Robin pointed in the direction of the auction on the island. Don't forget, there are still slaves in this world. Slave. Do you mean? There are more than a hundred countries in this world, large and small, and there are also many people with high positions of power but little power. When their time comes and they are about to reach the end of their lives, what do you think they will do? Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.